Hey everybody, it's Jochen Hyde, and I'm back with the Loka vs. Desert Wolf campaign, December 30th, 1941. So the presence of the sub here leads me to believe that perhaps Loka knows that the Enterprise is sitting in port. Or maybe it's just standard operations putting the boats off the uh, Australian coast. I don't know. Okay, a little activity up in Babylon. Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's not so good. Um, <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was hoping that the uh, Adelaide here in the Triomphant uh, would, you know, have a very long and illustrious career, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get away from this one. We'll have to see. Not off to a good start here. Oh, definitely not now.
I think it's safe to say the Adelaide's not gonna make it. But the uh, Triumphant definitely might. It's just so fast, you can't shoot it, can't hit it. Oh man. That's the end of that one. There it goes. So now all six of these Japanese ships are going to be... Oh, oh, it gets a hit in. Okay. I was going to say all six of these Japanese ships are going to be firing at the uh, French destroyer here. I don't know if it's going to be able to, to dodge that or not. gets away. Oh, well, look at that. Trump gets away. Adelaide does not. So I wonder what we're gonna what's gonna happen to this guy. This is gonna be the ship I follow this whole campaign. I wanna see it survive. Uh oh. Hmm my guess is they're going to try to just break off. A lot of ammo was expended by the Japanese. Yep, I figured that would happen. Shame about the Adelaide. Oh, something else is sinking, but I think it's Japanese. <laughs> Just don't know what. Oh, you know that's gonna get hit. Oh, I was wrong. Well, good for that. There's so many subs around Saram right now. He's still coming into Ambon. Let's see if he's bringing troops. Yep. Looks like he is unloading more troops here. Okay. More landing at Ambon. Price supply on loading. No way again. Yeah, I think what's going to happen here is Guinness are just going to break off because nobody has any ammo for this.
or they're gonna start shooting. <laughs> Range is closing. I was hoping it was going to get away. It's going to make it a lot harder to get away. Man. Oh, yeah. I think it's... Uh, it's not looking good, man. Oh, maybe it is going to get away. I can never tell with these things. Oh yeah, look at it. Things going flank speed, doing 45 knots, getting out of there. Oh yeah, it's gone. Man, that, that Triumphant is so lucky. It got in as close as 8,000 yards. One aided shell hit, but it seems to be intact still. Again. All right, I'm going to fast forward through here. I don't know if I want to... I think they're just going to disengage. Oh, or not. Okay, we get down as close as 8,000 yards again. Looks like it takes two more shell hits. Man, I just won't let it go, huh? Very aggressive task force commander with the Japanese. All right, since I know that there's still combat left in this, I'm going to let it play out and see what happens. Everybody's got to be getting really low on ammo and ops points at this point. Dang, look at that. Right off the bat, 8-inch shell hit from 21,000 yards away. Oh, dang it. <sighs> yeah, okay. I think that might be it this time. Uh, that's like three or four 8-inch shells on the destroyer. They can't really take those. You see the Japanese task force commander ordering a disengagement. That's because his ammo level has dropped very low. So he's calling it off now because there's no ammo left to shoot. Well, this thing pulls off a miraculous escape again, but its damage level is very heavy now. Again, they're, they're just going to break off. There's no ammo. Watch. Yeah, see? One couple shots, they attempt to withdraw.
Ah, see this now? He's actually sweeping first. That's what you're supposed to do. Unescorted nails going into Kendari. I wouldn't have done that. Get ready to watch some nails get melted. There you go. All those nails thrown away for one supply hit. comes our raid to Singapore. <laughs> uh, oh no. Unescorted. All right, it looks like um, Locus is gonna try to bomb here to attack the Sex, but I think Desert Wolf correctly deduced that there would be an attack like this, so he put some long range cap up, and now we're gonna get some free kills here. Hmm. Not worth it at all. They didn't even hit anything. Oh, jeez. Well, there's only one fighter left. Bit worse if you gotta sweep these hexes first. You gotta sweep first. Sweep. Where's the fighters? Pick this. Dang, look at that. These uh, Chinese bombers are more effective than the Japanese ones. What's the altitude they're hitting at? 5,000 feet. Huh. Two divisions so far is what's cited. Three divisions. Three divisions. What a flex, man. Just using your B-17s for this. He's just reminding him that they're out here. Whoa! Ouch! These guys get flattened, man. Oh yeah, these guys are gonna get tore up. Dang, B-17s are so ridiculous.
Ooh, swordfish. Let's go. Oh, this is from the um the Hermes. Oh, they're carrying bombs, so that's a bummer. There you go. Uh, where is the Japanese long range cap? No idea. I have not seen a single fighter go into this hex. You can't do that. If you know that there's allied air bases in range, you have to sweep first. I think uh, Loka now found out that there's flak at Horn Island and there's no joke there. Yeah, don't go in that low. Oh, man. Yeah, bud, there's flak there. Oh, okay. Finally, he's doing something. He's reacting to these guys. It took him a while. Alright, so some Bettys come out of, I'm guessing, uh, Hokkaido to try to take out these uh, Allied Destroyers. It's only a couple days late. They get through anyway. It's like the cap wasn't even there. One resource hit, but it's something. Here we go. Swordfish are back. With torpedoes this time. A little bit of overkill there. At least they got some torpedoes off today. Another ship sunk because there's not there's insufficient cover over this. It's 
That's quite a few Japanese subs off of Sydney now. Oh no. It's not looking good for the Trumpet guys. Oh no! Oh man. Ah. I hate that. Man. I had I had high hopes for that thing. That's a bummer. Okay, we're starting off with our first attack on the Anking Road. Let's see how this one does. That's one, five divisions and two tank regiments. That's a pretty decent sized force. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Nope, not enough. Ooh, ouch. Why was this so bad? That's bad. Holy moly. That is an exceptionally bad um, combat roll there. I didn't think it'd be that lopsided. Bummer, man. He ain't breaking through there right now. Let's see how much longer these guys can hold out. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it's just getting crazy. Uh, he needs to stop and rest for a couple days. His units are are um, just probably just fatigued and disrupted. The Japanese. It doesn't say that they are, but I know that they are. Wen Xiao ain't going anywhere. Japanese capture Wu Chao. Oh, let's see how this bombardment goes today. Honestly, did not think that that would happen. Huh. That's really surprising. I thought that they would do better than that. Those guys folded up like a suitcase. Wow. Okay, well, he got lucky there. Because this, this regiment that he brought in is under strength. They took losses coming ashore. I didn't think it'd have enough juice in it to do this, but apparently these Philippine army guys are just that bad. All right, these guys finally surrender on Mindanao. And the Japanese are finally showing up in mole mine. That took a while. There it is. And Bon? There it is. Okay, guys, this one's kind of sad for me. Let's take a look at it. Aircraft losses today. Well, okay, it's not all, <laughs> it's not that sad. All right, the Japanese got cap trapped again. Ugh, thirty-eight to four. Uh, 
Not good. It's three to one, just about three to one losses here. Normally it should be flipped the other way around. So this is pretty, pretty rough. Uh, how we got on aces. Yeah, look at this. We've got our first eight kill guy here in this squadron right here at Sion. This guy's just ripping and tearing. Look at this guy. Where is he? Where's he at? Look at this guy's experience level. This is crazy. Uh, he's going to be a sl Let's keep an eye on Dale. All right, where was I at? Okay. Ship sunk last turn. I'm sad about this, man. Delay. Triomphant. Triomphant. The French. The French destroyer that I love so much. It had so much damage. Finally got blasted by a bunch of heavy cruisers out of, I guess, Numea. And it's dead. As is the Adelaide. Uh, regardless, score's looking pretty good still. Alright. So, we'll take a quick peek at the troops on Midway. Supply levels are still kind of low. These PBYs are still flying supply missions, though. They're going to do what they can to move stuff in there. Okay, China. I am still waiting to see a solvent strategy for the Japanese here. I don't know what they're doing. And the latest shutdown has just come here on the Anking Road. About a thousand Chinese AV completely obliterated these these uh, Japanese guys. Let's see if we can see the numbers here. Let me see. Where is it at? It's in Yang. Where was it at? Oh, God. Oh, I'll find out. Hold on. Where was that ground combat at? Is it higher up? Oh yeah, look at this. Six to one losses on this train with two to one odds. These guys came with tank divisions, multiple infantry divisions. Um, I thought they would have done a bit better than that, but this is really disappointing um, outcome for the Japanese. I, it, I don't know what it is about uh, Chinese troops on Time Street terrain, but it gives me the chills, man. I, they get some sort of boost, a divine, divine win, or some crouching tiger, hidden dragon kind of thing going on here with the Chinese. But when they're on this terrain, they're so hard to get off of here. Um, and he's got a thousand here, 600 there, 200 there, more coming. Uh, it, it, this is going to be a, a terrible slog for the Japanese. And to me, if this was going to be one of my main axes of advance, I would have come with a lot more troops in this. This is not enough. By now, by this late in the game, almost January, he should have the Kwantung army should just be like piled up here. 10,000 AV ready to blast a hole through this whole thing and they're not here. So I don't know what he's doing. I have no idea what the Japanese strategy is in China. Uh, if you guys think you know what it is, let me know. Uh, he appears to be going for some sort of encirclement down here near... Uh, Wen Chao. I don't really know what the point of that is, but he's moving to encircle these guys, and in my opinion, it would be better just to let them escape. Because if you kill all these Chinese troops, they're just going to respawn in Chongqing in a month. Granted, they'll be missing some stuff, but they're still going to have basically one third of their TOE uh, refilled with the exception of like the artillery and stuff like that. The actual rifle squads will be back. That's a lot of AV. So I wouldn't go for an encirclement here. Unless his intention is to force them out this way. In which case, that would be inconvenient for the Chinese. Because then they have to walk through a lot of crappy trying to get back on the road. But we'll see what he's trying to do here. I don't like it either way. Okay, Burma. Um, he did take Mole Mine this turn with an RTA division. That's Royal Thai Army. And we have the other axis of advances coming through here. Which is the slow road. Slow road. Um, but to me, he's behind in... Burma as well. He should be in Pegu by now. Alright, so it's clear now that all the Japanese troops that are going to get here are in Johor, and we're just waiting for them to unpack and cross the river here, or the, the causeway if you want to call it that. Um, I don't know how much AVs here. My guess is it's going to be less than 3,000. But, you know, I could be wrong. But because of his bombing has been completely ineffectual, due to the high altitude and the fact that the cap traps have been here, the fort level is already up a quarter of the way to size four. This is not good for the Japanese. All right. 
I don't know what he's doing here at Ambon. He keeps on loading troops, but it seems extremely dangerous to me to be uh, continuing to ferry troops in through here. All right, look at this. He's got some big ships through here, and there's just a, a metric butt ton of Dutch subs. And those are the ones that I that that give me the heebie-jeebies, right? So uh, I don't know how he's gonna get into Ambon without running through this gauntlet of subs. It's not <laughs> not ideal. And then we got the Hermes sitting here. They got a raid off. Unfortunately, they're out of torpedoes, but they still got bombs. And so let's see what they can carry for bombs. Oops, wrong button. These swordfish can still carry uh, at least a 500 pound bomb, if not more, uh, on naval attack. So we'll see if he does this again. My guess is that he's going to pull the Hermes back because he doesn't want to get caught by long range cap from these guys. Okay, and the Solomons, I don't really see much happening other than Rennell Island getting captured. Way behind here as well, in my opinion. Like, in my campaign, I had almost all these bases captured by January. And in, in and around this area near Espiritu Santo is where the Adelaide and the Le Triomphant was sunk. And that's, again, why I'm sad. I wanted that French destroyer to survive the whole campaign. And, and be there in the Tokyo Bay at the end of it. But and sadly, it didn't make it. But you can't say it didn't put up a good fight. And you can't say they didn't take a lot of ships down with it. Remember that convoy it intercepted a week or two ago over here? <laughs> it definitely, uh, you know, punched way above its weight. So good luck to you, French Navy. I think it's the last we're going to see of you for a few years. That's all I got for now, guys. I got some more videos to watch and record. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.